and we're off. On today's show, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give you the top five Nigerian players of the weekend, and let's get it. At number five, we have Ola Aina. Ola Aina had a good game for Fulham. They beat Leicester City two goals to one. He played in an unfamiliar central defender position. We all know he plays right back or, full or left back. Um, he did pretty well. They, like I said, he played 90 minutes and his team won two goals to one against Leicester City. So when you beat a team like that and somebody that is a nobody like me is doing a top five list, I think that nobody better put you in that list because you deserve to be in that list. You beat a big team. You played 90 minutes, and you played in a position that is not your familiar position. So, sir, Ola Aina, I'm going to put you at number five. And at number four, I'm going to go with Kevin Okpoguma. Kevin Okpoguma played for Offerheim this weekend. They uh, played a one-all draw with Mainz. Um, they were away from home. He had 84% passing, five out of three aerial ones. Yeah, I mean, sorry, three out of five aerial ones, two tackles, and was never dispossessed. Um, he played at a central defender position. Normally, he plays as a fullback for his club. For the past two seasons, he's been playing at the fullback position. But I guess lately, they've been putting him at his uh, more familiar central defender position. I think it's more it's more a thing to do with age. They wait till you're mature enough to they feel you could play that position in Europe. Um, there's not too many Fofanas out there. Fofana that plays for Leicester City. There's not too many young guys that are playing central defender. You got to be a little mature for that position, especially in Europe. Um, so, yeah, we're going to give him number four for that. He did a good job. At number three, we're going to go with Semi Ajayi. Semi Ajayi kept a clean sheet for West Brom against Sheffield United. By the way, what is going on with Sheffield United? One point in a whole season. This is ridiculous. Um, he had 81% passing, one dribble. He dribbled past the player once. Um, he got the dispossessed once. He had one aerial dual one win, and he had one tackle. Um, one thing that I, I just feel is like ever since Ivanovic came into the team, I feel like his maturity, his professionalism, and um, his, um, just his experience is told on these boys, um, Bart and uh, Semi Ajayi. It's like both of them needed guardians and that's what he brings if you watch the games Ivanovic is not doing the greatest job but it's like he's giving them that knowledge you know knowledge is sometimes more important than even skill so yeah he's giving them that knowledge and helping them on the pitch and you can see that Semi Ajayi is looking very very strong in that position so, yeah, that's why we go with him at number three. And for number two, we have Victor Obama of a and who got a 1-0 uh, away win, away victory. We all, If you follow the NPFL, you know how hard it is to even score a goal away, not to talk less of winning away. Um, Victor Obama with a second-half header helped a and to a away victory in the CAF Champions League. Uh, against Ra- Rahimo or B- Burkina Faso. And normally, this will make the top five, to be honest with you. Unless it's just a crazy week with guys scoring hat tricks. This will normally make the top five. But the main reason it is number two is because this guy doesn't even play in a league. His club doesn't have a league. This is why it's a big deal that... Amba of Aba went to Burkina Faso and got this win because it's crazy. They don't have a league. How did they manage that? Who are they? Who are they playing? Where is their practice team? Because there's, they're playing a very strong practice team for them to be able to to win that game like that. Clean sheet and a a one zero victory. Um, I'm gonna do something that I've I've not done before. Well, it's two shows. But so there's a lot of things that I've never done before. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share this in half and give half of it. In fact, I'm not gonna share it in half. I'm gonna give the number two position to Victor Obama, but he's taking that award right to Ayinba and the state of Abia. For all those great people, y'all need to be very happy, very proud that your club is showing that you're the giants and real elephants. In Nigeria, I don't want to hear anything from anybody ever again. Enba is the greatest club in Nigeria. They prove it every year. What do you? What do we need them to prove anymore? 
they don't have a league and they went and won this game. So even me as a quiet United fan, we strive to be like them, but and we hate them honestly because yeah, you always want to be like the big dog, but I got to give the, I got to give them this credit. That was that was a monumental victory. Um at number 1, we going to give it to Paul Onoachu of Gank. Paul Onoachu again does a great job. Two goals for his club. Well taken goals. Um, the guy's on fire. 14 goals for his club. Leading the Belgium League. Jupiter League. Jupiter or Jupiter. One of the two. You, I, I'll write the whatever it is. Um, he's leading the league in goals. With 14 goals. It's two goals yesterday. Um, I think he's going he's gonna to win. He's going to win the Golden Boot. What we hearing is words about him going to to a different league, a bigger league, maybe England, maybe France, like Osiman did, or maybe maybe even Spain. So we hearing all these things. We, it's great news for the national team, but the questions need to be asked: Why can't he do this for the national team? And it, I think it's very simple that we don't have a coach that is really able to get these players chances on the pitch. He's not telling them how to do it. They don't create chances enough in training. They don't have creative. I don't know how to say it, but I feel like the team doesn't play towards their strikers. Yeah, I don't feel like it is a uh, Onoachu issue. I think people just maybe on raw for Onoachu. I feel like even Igalo had that situation. I feel like Osiman goes through that. He has to yell at some guys like, "What are you doing?" It's like there's no you. Th- we don't understand that you got to give your striker the ball most times out of none because he's right in front of the goal. So, yeah, <laughs> that's our top five. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching and God bless.